This podcast is brought to you by Enlightening Learners Academic Coaching and Tutoring Services. In this presentation, we're going to learn how to graph inequalities on a number line, your guided questions, explain what an inequality represents, be able to read an inequality and graph it on a number line, and understand the symbols related to greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. Okay, so the basics. This is read as refer to these as, as inequality signs. And you can also call them alligators. Now the thing to remember is that the alligator always eats the largest one. You've got a greater than or less than. So as an example, this would read x is less than 5. On a number line, I just simply put a dot above a 5 and it's open. Notice that it's open. Less than runs to the left on the number line. Likewise, this says greater than. And again, it's an open dot. This is greater than or equal to, and it's a closed dot. One of the, th the things you need to recall or recognize is that this has an equal sign as well as an inequality sign. And that's the reason why it's shaded. And then we've got a less than or equal to. So this inequality says x is greater than 5. So we put our dot above 5. It's an open dot, and it runs in the right direction, or greater than direction, to infinity. Now, what this tells us is that it could be 6.2. It could be 10 and a third. It could not be 5. It could be 5.0001 but it can't be 5. And that open dot indicates that it it cannot be 5, but it could be any number greater than 5. And in this inequality, it says x is less than negative 5. Again, my open dot is above negative 5, which lets me know that it can be any number less than negative 5, but it can't be the actual number negative 5. And it runs to the left. This equation reads x is greater than or equal to negative 10, so our dot goes above negative 10, and it's closed. And that indicates that it could be negative 10 or it could be any number greater than negative 10. And then finally, x is less than or equal to 0, and our dot is above 0. It's closed, indicating it could be 0, and our arrow runs to the left, which means it could be any number less than 0. Now, you'll be given a graph and have to write it as an inequality, and you'll be given a graph and be able to graph this.